Well, uh, good morning, guys. Uh, this morning, uh, we're not going to be working on buses today. It's Saturday, so I'm going to be uh, working on a, uh, I think it's an 06 Cadillac uh, SRX, I believe. Uh, let me show you guys. Well, guys, uh, we're going to be working on this little creature right here. Uh, it's got a 3.6, and uh, it's got bad timing chains. So one of the guides probably broke or something like that. So uh, let me go ahead and get started. I'm not going to film. I'm going to go ahead and remove this little crossbar and uh, the upper cover and of course that little intake tube uh, i'll go ahead and start recording when we get to the intake removing it upper and lower removing both valve covers removing all the front belts tension or stuff like that harmonic balancer and then we'll get to the timing chains i'll try to go real slow on the timing chains uh, the timing marks can be a little tricky on those so i'll go slow and i'll try and show you guys how the timing marks are actually set up let me go ahead and uh, remove all this junk, and I'll get back to you guys in a bit. Well, guys, uh, before we get to that Cadillac, uh, I want to show you guys this. Uh, went over to a restaurant to have dinner, and uh, as we were sitting there, a gentleman showed up, and uh, he was uh, walking around with the cardboard, and uh, he asked me if we he wa he wanted we wanted him to paint a cartoon of us. So I said, yeah, go ahead. And, uh, well, let me show you guys what came out. All right. Well, guys, and like I said, I mean, it's a cartoon, but I thought it was funny. I laughed my ass off that night, and, well, let me show you. That's what he came up with, guys. I thought it was kind of cool. I just wanted to show you guys real quick what this gentleman did. Well, guys, today I don't have my tripod, guys, so you're going to have to excuse me. I'm not going to be able to record a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm going to show you what I'm doing right now. Uh, basically, I'm going to remove the upper intake. I got these six half millimeter, uh, 13 millimeter bolts off. Uh, some of the brackets that are around it, one of them has to be uh, removed. The rest stay on there. There's one vacuum hose in the back that's got to be disconnected. Connector here, connector back here, and the last one is an 18 millimeter bolt that's right here. That one's got to get removed so that this bracket comes up with the intake, okay? So let me go ahead and get that one off. And here you can see the damages, dude. Right, the valve cover cracked, and you can see a lot of damage on the inside, dude. So, this guy's in for a treat. I'm gonna have to call him, have him come over and check this out before I continue. I mean, this guy broke a gear, I don't know if you guys can see that inside of there, but that's the upper part of the it's a cam sprocket right there. So, we got issues. I'm still going to continue, but I'm not going to be able to finish it today. I'm going to have to stop once I tear it apart, because I need to show the guy all the damages and, well, make sure that this engine is uh, salvageable. I mean, if a piston hit a valve or something like that, then this engine is probably junked in. So, we'll see what happens. Let me go ahead and continue. Well, guys, <clears throat> this is the valve cover that I removed. Off of the right side, passenger side, it's got a big ass crack on there, missing a whole bunch of pieces. So, this vehicle here went from a uh, simple little timing chain replacement to a uh, crack phaser, missing sprocket. <clears throat> and if you can see in there, your little rockers, there's one, two, there's three, four broken completely off and laying in the center of the head. Uh, I, don't, I don't know where these two went. They're not there, but can't find them. So, oh, I see them. It's down there. So this thing, this cam froze. I'm going to assume that this piston hit a valve. Uh, 
intake valve for cylinder for the second cylinder is open it doesn't close completely so that one there hit a piston and there's a whole bunch of debris and shrapnel just laying all over the place so this here went from a simple timing chain to a well either major work on the engine removing that head <clears throat> replacing that cam and phaser and all that other stuff well let me show you another one yeah those little caps that holds that cam down in place crack right crack right, straight through on the third piston there a whole bunch of shavings that's from that phaser right here just gave out yeah this is this became from this became a engine remove and replace instead of a replacing a timing chain I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's feasible to spend any money on this engine this is probably going to get pulled out and they're going to purchase either a used engine I don't think the guy's going to want to want to rebuild this one it'll just I mean it's an 06 of course not <clears throat> I don't I don't think it's cost cost effective I I wouldn't rebuild it I mean it's either a swap out the engine or uh, I mean junk well guys uh, I have some bad news for the owner hopefully he shows up in a little bit and uh so I can show them exactly what I mean damages it how extensive the damages are before I proceed I didn't want to do all the work and engine not work and the guy's still out a couple hundred bucks and the car still not working so I didn't want to do that to the guy so we'll see what he says once he gets in I'll come back and uh, let you guys know what the gentleman decided to do I'm gonna push for replacing the engine instead of working on this and so we'll see how it goes well guys uh, I've been out do here is we're gonna go ahead and pull out a couple of the broken pieces and uh, little keepsakes so that he can decide what to do with them later but these are the little rockers off of your intake freaking uh, cam on the right side bank one uh, some of these are just somewhat damaged some of them are broken up let me show you this one here bearing is broke missing at least one quarter of the piece and I wish I could get the ones that fell in there, dude. Those are awesome. They're all bent up and mangled. I wish I could get those out of there and put them in the little baggie for them. But I'm going to go ahead and put this back together, guys. And uh, he's going to... Well, guys, uh, on this one, we're going to go ahead and stop here. I got to wait for the owner to come in. But, I mean, I know I've been out for a while. Uh, I got sick there for a little bit. Uh, for a while there, I thought it might have been COVID. Uh, I was feeling really, really bad, went in, got checked. I tested negative for COVID, but I tested positive for influenza. So had a real nasty case of the flu and uh, that kind of kicked me in the butt and I was out for maybe two weeks, guys. So I haven't been able to record anything, post any videos, or I mean, I've been working on buses, but minor little stuff. I've been taking it real easy. Nothing uh, that I could post on the channel that was, I mean, worthy of it. So, uh, well, I mean, I'm back. Uh, hopefully, I know I got a couple of units in the shop that I got to start on Monday. Uh, I'll go ahead and see if I can get those on camera, record them, and hopefully uh, get enough footage for a video and edit it and post it for you guys. Well, uh, like I said, guys, I mean, I know I was out for a while, but we're back. Hopefully, I can start posting more videos on diesel engines, stuff like that. And, uh, well, we'll see what happens. Well, guys. I do appreciate you guys watching, uh, like and comment.